Hello, my name is Axel, and today I'm going to speak about PLA, polylactic acid. So it was discovered in 1932. It's a bio-based and compostable polyester. The first applications were in the biomedical sector for medical implants. And after uh, developments in the production methods and production capacity, it was possible to use PLA for wider applications such as packaging material. The worldwide production per year is around 240,000 tons. And you have two big producers. We have Natureworks with the brand Ingeo, and we have Total Corbion with the brand Lumini. So when we look at the technical aspects of PLA, PLA is a thermoplastic. It means it will turn into liquid when it reaches its uh, melting point at around 150 to 160 degrees Celsius. So for the production of PLA, we need to polymerize lactic acid or lactite. And lactic acid is usually produced through the bacterial fermentation of sugars coming from crops and plants such as corn, sugar beet, sugar cane and cassava. So when you grow crops exclusively for the production of PLA, it's called the first generation PLA. But when you use waste byproducts or residue such as straw, uh, husks, uh, leaves and stems, then it's called second generation PLA. The second generation is less efficient in terms of production, but it's more politically correct because you don't use food crops. So let's now look at the advantages and disadvantages. In terms of production, well, the biggest advantages is that we use um, renewable raw materials. And secondly, uh, the carbon footprint of PLA is lower than with fossil-based plastics. And there are two reasons for this. First of all, the crops used for the production absorb CO2 when growing. And secondly, you need less energy to produce PLA than fossil-based plastics. So less energy during production equals less CO2 emissions. Let's now look at the disadvantages. Uh, in terms of production. Well, it's more expensive than fossil-based plastics. There's less quantities on the market, available quantities. Um, and when we talk about the first generation of PLA, well, some people think it's not ethically correct to use food crops. And you have to know that uh, when we use crops and plants for the production of plastics, one should be aware or should be careful regarding um, intensive agricultural practices such as for instance uh, the use of GMO of the abusive use of fertilizers or monocultures or uh, the destruction of natural habitats let's now look at material PLA the advantages are that it's a really nice material to work with it's easy to work with you don't require a lot of energy to transform it in addition to it, when you look at 3D printing, well, uh, PLA is probably the best plastic for 3D printing. It has around 45% market share. Let's now look at the disadvantages. Well, first of all, it has a low melting point. It means that it's not suitable for high temperature applications. It has a higher permeability, meaning that it allows more moisture and oxygen through than other plastics. So it's not suitable for long-term food storage applications. And thirdly, it's not the hardest or toughest plastic. So it's not suitable for um, heavy impact or hard impact applications. Let's now look at the end of life options. The advantages are that it's compostable, it's recyclable, and in terms of contamination uh, because of food, it's not a problem. Uh, when when we, you look at recycling, for instance, uh, plastic needs to be washed before it can be recycled. In the case of PLA, you can just throw or compost the food with the packaging. You don't have to clean it or separate them. And I would say another advantage, of course, is that uh, in terms of biomedical applications, when PLA degrades, it will turn into lactic acid, which is non-toxic for the human body. So let's now look at the disadvantages in terms of end-of-life options. Well, first of all, compostable. 
many industrial composters say that PLA takes too long to compost. And when it composts, it does not improve the quality of the soil because there are no nutrients. In the contrary, it makes the soil more acidic. When we look at um, recyclability, it's recycled, but you can recycle with other plastics. So you have to recycle uh, PLA on its own. However, there isn't enough PLA in the world and it's too much dispersed to make it economically viable. So that's it folks. Thank you for watching.